Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date is January 17th, 2023. This is Morning Forex Technical Report, where I take a look at the technicals that are driving the Forex market. We're going to start by taking a look at the euro versus US dollar, so let's get started. I'm going to focus here on the hourly chart. Why? Because uh, we're seeing, seeing the price uh, action uh, um, sort of stall up, up in this area right through here. Uh, low somewhere around the uh, 1.0780 on the high near 10873. So about um, 90 pips where the price has been trading up and down and up and down, up and down. Uh, that has allowed the 100 hour moving average, just blue line in this chart, to catch up with the price. And what we saw in uh, today was that the uh, price lows uh, right through here and here. They found support buyers against the 100 hour moving average. That's an important clue from a technical perspective. As long as the price remains above that level, then the bias remains more to the upside. So buyers against that level uh, risk probably a little to make more than a little. And uh, so they're rewarded as a result of that. And so, uh, but it also increases the level's importance going forward. Why? Because we held it twice right here. So if the price would come down to it and bounce off it again, that's more bullish. If the price would to move below that level, I'd expect the buyers to turn to sellers. It's just what you look for from a technical perspective. So pay attention to that 100 hour moving average going forward. It currently comes in at 1.0811. Uh, current price is, you know, 30 or so pips above that level, 108.43. So we're uh, going, uh, you know, as long as we stay above it, it's more bullish. On the top side, we have the high prices from yesterday and on Friday and Thursday near the 108.73 uh, level. You need to get above that level. That will increase the bullish bias for the euro versus U.S. dollar and keep the bulls, bulls and the buyers more happy. Uh, so uh, be aware of that. So right now, uh, the bias, uh, the, the up and down price action, but the bias remains more positive above the 100 hour moving average. Let's uh, shift our focus to the dollar versus yen next. And we do have the Bank of Japan coming out uh, in the new trading day. They're going to be meeting. Will they uh, increase or nudge uh, rates a little bit more to the upside? Remember last month, the, uh, they, they reset the 10-year uh, low uh, floor yield from 0.25% to 0.5%. I'm sorry, that, that was the ceiling level, not the low, the, the ceiling level. Uh, will they nudge that up even more to uh, tighten the screws a little bit to try to keep inflation uh, down in Japan? Uh, we will see. That's what the market's going to be focused on. We saw the price move sharply to the downside in trading last week. Um, in anticipation of that, or that was a story, uh, the market from a technical perspective fell below the 200 and 100 hour moving averages. Here's the 200 hour moving average. You can see how the last thing the market did before moving sharply to the downside was test that 200 hour moving average. And then it was down, down, down uh, in uh, trading yesterday. We did reach a new low uh, for this uh, this uh, move to the downside, uh, 127.21. As you can see, the price moved higher off of that level, moved back above the broken trend line here and did find some support buyers near that near that level in trading here today uh, in the early session. So we did did uh, hold that old support um, line, if you will. Uh, but uh, what we do, do need to do if the uh, price is going to go higher is get above its 100-hour moving average that currently comes in at 129.497 thereabouts. Um, so if the price were to get back above that level, that would be more uh, bullish. Note here that, that that moving average line is also near this low level going back to uh, early uh, January in the, January that we fell below that level in trading last week and stay below that level. So this this whole uh, area right here is a there's a cluster of uh, different support levels, including the 100 hour moving average. Uh, by the way, the 38.2 percent retracement of this move to the downside is also there and also this low price right through here. So lots of reasons why this level right through here is going to be a key level going forward. Uh, and uh, so pay attention to that. Around the one uh, 29, 37, 40 ish type level for that uh, currency currency pair. Let's take a look at the uh, sterling versus US dollar. We look at this on the hour, hourly chart. Uh, I have this uh, swing area through here where there's a number of different going back to here, you know, swing low, swing low, swing low. It's pretty wide right through here, um, as you can see. See, And in trading last week, the market came up toward the high of that area. We broke above it in trading yesterday, but fell back below it. And in trading here today, we moved back above it again, and we're trying to stay above that level through here uh, after falling below it. Uh, uh, the 100 hour moving average was not as receptive uh, to support buyers uh, that we saw in the um, 
uh, currency pairs like the uh, euro versus US dollar. I uh, would see a number of different times the market fell below that moving average level. But each of the time the market fell below those levels, it's fairly short lived. The price rebounded back to the upside. And what I like about this is what happened at the last uh, test of that 100 hour moving average. That is right here. The market finally said, no, nope, we're not, we're not going to fall for this again. We're going to find support against that level and they pushed higher. So the buyers remain in control. Uh, we have this uh, large swatch uh, of uh, support here between 122.09 and 122.47. The 61.8% retracement of the last move to the downside is also in that area. But, um, you know, if we were to uh, pave a, a storyline for the week, week and a level uh, of importance, it's uh, going to continue to or it's going to be the 100 hour moving average by virtue of the fact that we're trying to hold support against that level. As long as the price can remain above that level, it's more bullish up for this pair on the top side. Get above the high price that we saw from yesterday's trade at 122.87, and that's more bullish here for this uh, currency pair. Finally, I take a look at the dollar versus uh, Canada. Uh, the uh, pair is uh, waffling above and below the 100 and 200 hour moving averages. We tried to move above the 200 hour moving average for the first time. Uh, since uh, this day right here, that, that was uh, earlier in January, I guess it was around January 6th, uh, but uh, could not sustain momentum and reestablish resistance against that movie. moving average. I forced the price back to the downside. We were trying to get back below the 100 hour moving average and like the um, what likely saw in the pound versus US dollar. We've had some instances where the price moved below the 100 hour moving average, but could not sustain momentum. We'll see if uh, the price can hold support against that level uh, and uh, push back to the upside or we move uh, further down and we start to uh you know let's see get below this uh 133.86 level and opens up the door maybe for further downside downside uh watch that level watch 100 hour moving average my name is greg wakolowski good fortune with the trading bye bye now